All right, thanks everyone for tuning in for another video blog here with Oilfield Basics. Today we're gonna to be talking about contractors and operators, what their differences are, and this is a good thing to really know as you're just coming into the industry or whether you're thinking about working in our industry, this is a good foundation for you to start with. Yeah, we're gonna be discussing the functionalities and the roles of contractors and operators, as well as the differences that they each possess. Yeah, so let's dive in. Okay, so let's start off talking about the main difference between the two. And the best way to start this off is to imagine yourself as building a house. So if I want my house built and I have the design in my mind, I know what I want, I'm going to have to hire contractors to do all of the work. So in this example, if Sebastian's my contractor, what are you gonna do for me? Well, I'm gonna first try to get the job from you. And so I'm gonna put in a bid that hopefully um, makes me money, but also is low enough so that you take my services, but I'm gonna make sure that I provide you with everything you need to ensure that your house is built um, in time and exactly to what you're looking for. Right, and he's also gonna have a specialty. So typically contractors are gonna have a specialty, so like in the, in the case of building a home, you're gonna have a different set of contractors come in to, to do the framework, you're gonna have a different set to do the plumbing, to do the electrical work, you're gonna have all of these different contractors to come build the house. Meanwhile, I'm the one who owns the property and owns the house in the end. So I'm the one paying the money. They're doing the work to help achieve the goal of building the house. So it's the same way in the oil field. So you've got an operator. So let's say like you've got like EQT, um, Antero, Chevron, Eclipse, Marathon. All, all of yeah. these are operators who actually have their own teams who went out, who leased the land or bought it who have rights to that land to develop that well. And they have all of their engineers and their teams to design what they want, and then they go to contractors like Sebastian in this case to drill the well or to complete the well, to pump the cement jobs. All of these are contractors who contribute to the overall design and completion of the well. So now let's talk about the work-life balance of contractors and operators. Typically, operators, they will work in an office position um, Monday through Friday, you know, nine to five, a typical job that you'll see. Some operators will even have a 980 schedule and have every other Friday off, which is super nice. Um, but contractors, on the other hand, will be the ones responsible uh, to be on location, you know, 24 seven to ensure that the job is being um, followed through accordingly with the operator's designs and plans. And they are held, held responsible to, to keep the um, job safe. and you know, just to make sure everything's going smoothly. But in the end, the operator is the one there to support the contractor and to make sure that everything's uh, being done on time as well as, you know, the plans are being followed through. And so those are the kind of two main differences in the work-life balance of the um, contractors and operators. Right, and typically contractors are gonna be working shift work. Mm -hmm. And so they're gonna be typically like every a two weeks on, two weeks off kind of a schedule and 12 hour shifts. It depends on what contractor you're working for and what job they're carrying out. But a lot of times that's gonna be the case on the contractor side. So now one thing interesting to note in this video is kind of where the balance of power lies. And it might sound kind of funny to say it that way, but essentially who's holding the cards at any given time in the industry. So in the downturn that we experienced a couple years ago and are still coming out of, the contractors are there at all, at all the time, always they're there to serve and work for the operators. So if the operators are pressed for money, if they're not getting very good prices out of their commodity, so if, they're, if oil is in a low price environment or if gas is a low price environment, depending on where you're at, if, if, if they're in such a low price commodity environment, then the operators might not want to operate as much and carry out drilling of new wells and completing wells and everything across the board. So the contractors are gonna have sometimes a hard time finding work. So in that kind of scenario, the operators are holding the cards in a sense, but kind of even right now, as things are ramping back up, a lot of some of the contractors weren't able to survive through the downturn. So there's less crews and there's less staff overall to carry out the work that the operators are wanting. So right now, the contractors kind of hold the cards. And so this is just very common within our industry. You know, our industry is very cyclical. And right now, if you enter the you know oil industry, it's very easy to um, secure a job in the contractor side just mm -hmm. because of that um, balance of power difference. And so um, if you were to try to find a job in a downturn, then you'd almost have no luck. But right now, because of the shortage of crews and the contractor side, uh, contractors are hiring like crazy. And that's why it's very simple and it's a lot easier to get a job in the contractor side um, versus an operator. In the current environment. Yeah. Yep. 
All right, so another thing to note too is the bridge between the two. So ahead of time, it's typically the engineer, whoever the planning team is to the execution team and getting all the teams coordinated for the contractors to do the work of the, of the operator. But also on location, once that work is being carried out, there's something called a company man. So a company man is hired or employed by the operator to be present on location 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's typically two of them, they rotate shifts. But they are the ones who are present um, to basically make sure everything is being carried out according to design and is the one who makes the call back to an operator if something needs changed or if a problem arises or something like that. Yeah, and so just to wrap up the video, make sure that you understand kind of the difference between operators and contractors. Um, an operator, an example of an operator you'll most commonly hear about is, you know, like a Chevron or Exxon or BP, kind of these big names. But then on the contractor side, you might hear of Baker Hughes or Halliburton, uh, even Schlumberger, and they, both of these operators and contractors work together to ensure that wells are drilled um, safely and on time and just to ensure that we're getting all the energy needs that we need. Yeah, and just on both sides too, there's a lot of big operators and there's a lot of big contractors and there's a lot of small operators and a lot of small contractors. So you can really get a range of size, whether you wanna work for a bigger company or a smaller company on either the contractor or the operator side. So just something to keep in mind as you start looking for your job in the industry. All right, so again, thanks for watching another Oilfield Basics video blog. We hope you enjoyed, we hope you learned something. And also, please be sure to check out our courses at oilfieldbasics.com slash learn if you wanna learn more of the bigger picture. So if you want to learn more about everything from the planning and, and development side of the operator all the way down through the contractors and how they execute, how they actually drill, drill, drill a well and complete a well, all of this is in our courses and more. So check them out. And also, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment on this video, share it with a friend, somebody else who could benefit from this video. Now, we really appreciate you guys tuning in and following us consistently. And we look forward to bringing you more and more videos like this in the future.